Hi everyone. Um, it's been a while. I wanted to actually hop on for a little bit to talk about something that I get asked quite often. Um, when people find out Tom and I's story, um, a lot of the same questions come up. And one of them is my feelings on naltrexone and Vivitrol or any other of the opiate blockers. Um, a few months ago, I posted a video about a journal entry of, I think I um, named it the first time I left him. And I left him, if you haven't seen that video, I left him because I found out that he had relapsed. And that was um, for about a month. And I, I moved, actually I moved in with my in-laws when that happened. And the reason I didn't, I never posted that I went back to him. I mean, it, it was, it's obvious that I did, but I never posted the reason. And the reason that I went back, we moved back home, was because of naltrexone. He decided while we were apart that he wanted to get on the implant. And at this point in my life, um, I hadn't set any boundaries. Um, I didn't know what the term was. Uh, my basically, the only thing that I would do is give him ultimatums. And it was the same ultimatum every single time. Um, if you do this, I'm gonna divorce you. If you don't do this, I'm gonna divorce you. If you go here, talk to them, whatever the case may be, it was the same thing. Um, I'm going to divorce uh, I'm going to divorce you and this was the same thing um, when we were apart he asked me what he needed to do and it was obvious I said okay well you need to get on the implant and if you don't we're getting a divorce and so he he went on it and the one he was on was for three months it lasted for three months we got an implant and in his arm and uh, it lasted for three months and it was the beginning of December that he, he got it. So things were great. Um, we were happy. Holidays went really well. And it lasted up until about February. And at that point, I wasn't ready for him to get off of it. Um, I could see like his mannerisms hadn't really changed. Like I, f I didn't feel like he had changed very much. He wasn't using but I, I felt like it was because of the blocker and that was it. And so I asked him to, to do it again. Well, we talked a lot about it and he talked me into, instead of getting the implant, he talked me into getting the oral pill. Well, in my head at the time, I'm thinking it's not a big deal. The oral pill is just as good as the implant as long as he's taking something. Um, he got that right after the implant worn off, had it worn off. So this was February of 2010. Yeah. And um, it turns out, and I, I didn't know this, I thought it was a good idea. Apparently it was a very bad idea. Um, he, within a couple of weeks of being on the oral pill, he had switched it. I think he replaced it with, I don't even remember, uh, Tylenol or something, something so generic. And, um, and the worst part about it is I didn't know for months and every day when he took the pill, I'd make him take it in front of me and I'd make him show me his mouth after. So I knew that he swallowed it. Well, he had only been taking the real pill for about two weeks and then he replaced it, but I didn't know for months. And how I found out is a totally different story. And I will do that video at, a, at a, another time. It was probably the worst, worst experience I've ever been through. So I, I will be posting that at some point. But I didn't find out until May that he what, had, been, had been replacing it with something totally generic. I th I'm pretty sure it was Tylenol or something like that. And... And at this point, I mean, he, when we talk now, he says he, as he got it, because I asked him, I said, 
is that why you wanted the pill? Because you had every intention in replacing it? And he tells me no to this day. He said, no, um, I still wanted to be on it. I just felt like it was easier. And he said, but within weeks, I realized that I didn't want to take it anymore and that I could trick you into me taking it. And um, and it was this really awful experience for me because, like I said, when he had the implant, the months were great. The three months were really great. I had this peace of mind. I felt good. Um, things were going really great. And, and then for the oral pill, I felt, I want to say that deep down I knew what was going on. And, um, but obviously I didn't, I didn't do anything about it. So fast forward about a year and a half later, it, it was about April of 2011 and he he decided to get naltrexone again, the implant. Um, at this point, we had been divorced a few months. Um, we're both obviously were separated and um, we had no relationship. We had a relationship as of, here's the kids, play with them for a little bit. Um, but other than that, there was real no relationship. And this round of naltrexone was very, very different. Not only because he decided to make that choice himself, I knew this time he was doing it for him and he wasn't doing, it was no longer for me. Um, it kind of made me think a whole lot differently about it. Um, he was on, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to get my date straight. He was using naltrexone he was on the implant for six months, I think. Um, yeah, he was on it for six months. And those six months were great. We were actually able to build our relationship. We became friends again and we started communicating in a whole different way. And we start, started spending time together, together again with the kids. And then it, it gradually grew into more than a friendship. It was, it was a, we started dating and um, and within six months he knew he tells me this now that he he knew there's no way that he would have used again because it wasn't just the naltrexone that got him clean it was a decision and a choice that he made that he wanted to get clean and he was just using the naltrexone as like a step just something to help him move in the right direction but he knew it wasn't that wasn't all it was going to be he knew that he'd have to work towards it. So after those six months, um, he was sure, I don't need to use anymore. I'm done. I'm never going to use again. And he asked me how I felt about that. And at this point, we're dating, you know, nothing exclusive. And I said, you know, it's been really great the last six months. I've had this peace of mind, this not worrying. I've been able to sleep. I haven't had to think about checking your phone. Um, you've been this great father. You've been present. You actually come around. You um, answer your phones. Like you want to spend time with us. You want to spend time with the kids. Like this has been a great six months. And I can't, I don't want that to end yet. And he said, okay, well, you want me to do it again? And I said, yeah, that would be great if you could do six more months. So for the next six months, he did Vivitrol. He did the Vivitrol shot. And it's the same thing. Um, it's, it's just a shot instead of an implant. And um, he did that for six months. And that led up to the last time that he's ever used. So he's been clean ever since um, April of 2012. And within three months, we were remarried. Many people have different opinions about this. Many people have um, positive thoughts about this kind of stuff and, and negative thoughts. This is only my opinion and my experiences. And I am thankful for 
the things that he used. Yes, we had terrible experiences with it, but we had really good experiences with it as well. Um, the point is, the point that I want to make is no matter what your loved one is using, whether it's the pill, the shot, the implant, it'll only be a temporary fix unless they want to get better, unless they are ready for recovery, unless they have chosen recovery. And then whatever block blocker they choose will be a stepping stone in that direction, will help them in that direction, only as long as that is a choice that they have made on their own without any other influences. When Tom was on the implant and the shot, it brought me so much peace of mind. Like I said, I was able to sleep. I had, I just felt like this load had been taken off me. And honestly, I couldn't even remember the last time I felt like that. And as I was thinking about it, I said, oh yeah, I do. It was when he was in jail because that's the second best thing is every time Tom was in jail, it was this, oh, I know where he is. I don't have to worry about him. I can sleep. Just this peace of mind. Well, naltrexone and Vivitrol gave me the exact same piece, but it only helped the second time he took it because it was a choice that he had made that he wanted to get better, that he no longer wanted to use drugs, that he no longer wanted to be an addict and be in the position that he was in, and then he no longer wanted to make the choices that he was making. That's when it worked for him.